So I wanted to share with you today the personal story of how I became an illustrator and designer because maybe it will in inspire some of you guys or maybe it will give you some uh, motivation uh, if you are just starting out and you're not sure about uh, illustration and design and maybe you're unsure about your skills and stuff like that so I just wanted to share with you my story and tell you that I actually when I I mean, when I was a kid, I never thought, I'll never imagine I can actually become an illustrator and I never felt like I can actually draw very good and still this thing kind of happened to me and if it happened to me, I think it's, it's possible and anyone, can, anyone else can actually do it as well. Um, so yeah, when I was a kid, I, I always liked cartoons and I always liked comic books and then later on as a, as a teenager, I really liked manga and anime and you know it was something that was always there in the background for me but I never felt like I can draw anything <laughs> I mean I, I was good at watching and reading this stuff but I never felt like I can actually draw it and but then you know later on when I was like 23 years old or something like that I started thinking about what is it that I actually want to do as a grown-up person uh, and I, I, I wasn't sure about it, but I, I just felt like I wanted something that can be as close as possible to illustration. So I realized I can actually study graphic design and this is how uh, I got started, you know, entering this field of, you know, illustration and design. So I actually, you know, I didn't have any background in arts or design or illustration or anything like that. So. I started looking up, you know, the academies here in Israel where I can actually get a diploma in graphic design, um, and I, I I discovered and I discovered that there's actually just three big academies here in Israel who can give you, uh, you know, like a M, like a, a master degree in graphic design. So apparently, it's kind of hard to get accepted to these academies because there's only three in the whole country. And there's a lot of young people who are actually uh, going and taking these tests every year and try to apply to these uh, academies. So yeah, so apparently it's kind of hard to get accepted to these academies because there's only three and there's a lot of students who want to study in, the, in those academies. So I realized there's actually some tests that I need to take and there's, I need to work on a portfolio and you know, present it in front of the teachers in each one of the academies um, and then only then I can actually uh, you know just the best ones every year will get accepted uh, and start uh, studying graphic design so I took a preparation course which is something that a lot of people it's very common here in Israel to take a preparation course uh, which is um, specifically made to, to kind of give you some background about graphic design and uh, art and illustration and prepare you for these uh, tests in the academy uh, so I, I re worked really hard I mean I didn't have any background so I, I kind of started from scratch and I built a portfolio and I practiced sketching and worked on like photography stuff as well and drawing and worked really really hard for like six months I was working at a bookstore at the same time this was this was my job so I was working at the bookstore and I was practicing and working on my portfolio and after six months I actually applied to all these three academies and took the entry tests uh, for graphic design and I actually failed in all three academies uh, and this was devastating I mean oh fuck I mean you know after working on it for six months I didn't have any other plan and these exams are actually happening just once a year so I just got rejected from all, all three schools basically it's like I don't know like six or eight different teachers from all the top academies in Israel who saw my portfolio and look at my exam and basically told me I suck and I have I mean I'm not good enough to even study to even begin studying graphic design so I was you know I was really devastated and I mean this is crazy I mean I almost gave up and I, I almost you know just 
I, I wanted to forget about this whole graphic design illustration thing and I can't believe you know thinking about it today where I am today and the type of work that I actually do today and to think about you know I was really really close to giving up and just forget about it just because some random people told thought that I wasn't good enough uh, I mean this is kind of crazy and so this is just something I wanted to share with you guys because uh, maybe some of you are, are feeling stuck and maybe some of you have uh, the people around them who are telling you that you're not good enough and you need to forget about you know pursuing a career in something that is creative um, and I just wanted to kind of give you some motivation and tell you about you know my story so actually uh, you know, so after, so actually after I got rejected from all these, uh, all these academies, I kind of realized I don't have any other plan and I just decided to take another year and keep working in the bookstore while I'm, you know, practicing and building my portfolio and improving it. And so this time I, I didn't, I felt like I don't need to kind of go back to the preparation course and I just decided to kind of focus on myself and work with myself and improve my portfolio and then I applied again a year later and I went to the exam so I was super stressed uh, entering the exams because I, I knew that I already wasted a an year and a half working and preparing just for the exams just to start studying graphic design but on the second time I actually got accepted to all three schools and I was super excited, super happy about it. And then, you know, when I started studying in the academy, I actually felt like I'm the underdog because, again, because I wasn't one of those guys who just uh, took the exams and got accepted on, and got accepted on the first time. So as, as a student, I felt like I always need to push extra hard and you know just do as much as I can because I felt like most of the guys in the academy are way better than me and have more experience in graphic design illustration and I think you know ha having this sort of motivation really helped me uh, to achieve like better results as a student in the academy you know motivation and not giving up on stuff can really take you uh, a long way. So, uh, so just remember that uh, the next time you feel like you suck at uh, something uh, creative, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, graphic design or photography or animation or illustration. I mean, everybody gets stuck and everybody feels unmotivated sometimes. And so, yeah, hopefully this helps. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm not going to tell you all about how I actually started working as an illustrator after the academy because this would be a long story and might be a good idea to tell about it in, an, in another video. I wonder if you guys are interested in uh, hearing me talk about you know, how I got started working as an illustrator after the academy. Uh, so if you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the process video guys and talk to you soon.
Okay guys, so this is the final illustration. I'm really excited and happy about this new direction I'm, I'm getting into with uh, these two characters. And now I just need to finish the animation part and this time it's a bit more complex so I think I'm gonna move it into After Effects and I'll probably have time for, you know, finish this animation part tomorrow morning so I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what I did to get the file ready for animation. Uh, well, I, I want to spin this hand as if it's, uh, it's touching that button, it's pressing the button. So I made sure everything, all this hand is in one folder and now, and then I made sure I can actually, yeah. So when I rotate the hand, it's gonna look like this. And then once the hand is pressing the button, it's gonna move on top of the shadow part of the button. And, and that's it, pretty simple. Another thing that I made is, I made some different variation for the Tetris bricks. So I have this little skull and I have it in just in some different variations so I can make things a bit more interesting. And another one with a heart. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna switch between those bricks uh, in the animation and I also made some glitched variations of the head so I have this one and then I made this one as well another one and that's the best one so I'm just gonna switch between the heads uh, between the layers and I'll also uh, I'm gonna move this little drop from the ice cream down to here and that's the whole thing so pretty simple and I'm ready to go into After Effects now to finish the animation okay so this is the final loop animation I made from this character and uh, yeah I'm super happy about it I feel like this series can develop into something super interesting for me so I'm gonna try and keep making a few more characters like these two and yeah we'll see what happens okay guys so that's it for this week's episode if you have any questions or anything you want to ask me leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these type of videos i'll see you next time bye